Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn about GitLab Runner, how to install, register and start GitLab Runner and we will do this on Windows operating system. On Mac we have already learned in the last session. So I am going to go very basic step by step and we will learn what is GitLab Runner and how to install, register and start with GitLab Runner. And if you have no prior knowledge on GitLab Runner, do not worry, I am going to start from scratch and we will go up step by step. So before I write down the steps to install and register and start GitLab Runner, let us see what is GitLab Runner. So GitLab Runner is a utility or a program or you can say a project which is used in GitLab CI. So GitLab CI is the continuous integration service and this is what we are going to learn in the coming sessions about GitLab CI and GitLab Runner is used in GitLab CI. So in very simple words, if you talk about GitLab CI, it is a open source continuous integration service included with GitLab. So this service is by default included with your GitLab and we will learn about this later and for now GitLab Runner is used to run jobs and send results back to GitLab. So this is what GitLab Runner is used for and it will be used in GitLab CI. And what are the steps to get GitLab Runner? Step number one is install GitLab Runner and then after installing we have to register and by register this is a process to bind runner with GitLab instance. So this is what we mean by register and then step number three is start GitLab runner. So these are the three basic steps and we will see it on Windows. So let me go to my Google here and search for GitLab runner and this is the documentation page. I will go here and here you can see all the documentation about GitLab runner, all the docs. So GitLab runner is an open source project that is used to run your jobs and send results back to GitLab. It is written in Go programming language and you can see all the features. It allows multiple jobs run concurrently and compatibilities and then we have a section for install GitLab Runner and then we have this uh, installed link I will click here and all these links I will make available in the notes so that you can follow them all these notes will be available in the description section of this video so these are the links I will also copy this link and make it available here so here this is the link where you can see install GitLab Runner and then we have all these binaries that we can get. So we are going to get on Windows and let me just go to my Windows system and here I will go to the same link and I will click on install on Windows and here we have the instructions. So the first thing is create a folder somewhere in your system like C GitLab Runner. Now the reason I am showing you all the links and I am showing you all the steps within this web page is because just in case I miss anything in my notes you can follow this you have the links and you can refer the links and also in case anything changes in the future you will always have the latest documentation here on the website. So that is the reason I am showing you all the links and all the steps here. So I will create a folder by the name GitLab hyphen runner. So I will go to my C drive. You can create anywhere but I will just go to C and create a new folder and I will name it GitLab hyphen runner. And then the next step is we have to download the binary for our operating system. Now you can go to your my computer or this PC and do a right click go to properties and you can see the details about your operating system the bit size and everything. I have 64 bit but I believe I should be fine with 
uh, this x86 so I will click here x86 and it will download the GitLab runner exe and if I go to my downloads folder it is here so I will just copy this and go to my folder that I created just now which is GitLab runner and I will paste it here and also I will rename it and I will just remove this Windows 386 and just keep it like GitLab runner dot exe and this is also mentioned here if I go to the documentation the same page here it is mentioned uh, you can rename the binary gitlab runner.exe and then we have to run an elevated command prompt now elevated command prompt means you can run your command line with admin rights or you can also uh, use uh, here you can use a git bash so let me just go to my command line and I will run it as administrator and here I will go to the location of this folder that is GitLab runner I will say CD and go to the location if you are on any other drive like E drive first you have to change the drive by saying let us say E drive E colon and then enter and then you can go to the location and also a shortcut is you can just go to the address bar on your folder and say CMD and press enter it will open on the same folder so this is a shortcut that you can do so for now I'm on my folder and then we have to run this command gitlab runner.exe install so I'll run this command gitlab runner.exe install and you can see this is done and now if I say gitlab runner minus minus version I am getting the details here so these are the commands let me also highlight these commands for you so gitlab runner.exe install will install and to check if your gitlab runner is installed you can run the command gitlab runner minus minus version now this is to start so you can also start using this command gitlab runner.exe start so if I run this here gitlab runner.exe start and here you can see I'm getting this message here so it should be started I will check it later for now I need to register my gitlab runner so here if I go to the first link we also have a link to register gitlab runner I will go here and I will also mention it here in the second step that is register GitLab runner here if you scroll down you can see multiple operating system and documentation for that this is for Linux then we have for Mac that we have seen in the last session and if you scroll further down we have Windows so these are the steps that we will use for Windows and I have to run this so let me first just run uh, GitLab runner stop and then let me stop the runner and then I will register and start again so here these are the commands I have to run this command register gitlab runner.exe register and here let me see it says uh, okay I think it is still locked so I will have to say stop here 
so looks like it was started and not yet stopped so let me just stop this and then we will do the registration process all right so now it is saying please enter the gitlab ci coordinator url and this is what we have to enter you can also see here this is what you have to enter that is the link for gitlab i'll just enter this here so i'll copy this and enter it here and say enter now we have to give the token and token you will get from your project so i will log into my gitlab account i will go to gitlab.com and here i will sign in and give my username and password and sign in and i can go to my projects so let me just go to this project you can also go from here project your projects and go to the project and here in your project go to settings here and then under settings you can go to CICD and here you will find a section for runners click on expand and here if you scroll down you can see this section set up a specific runner manually and here you can see this step we have already done specify the URL and this is the token you can copy the token from here and provide it here and hit enter you have to provide some description so I will just say this is my runner one or anything you can say here and here it says please enter the GitLab CI tags so I will just say SSH and CI for now SSH comma CI you can enter any tags uh, we will learn what is the importance of tags when we do run the jobs in GitLab CI for now you can just enter this and say enter and it says register runner succeeded and everything is done and now we have to play enter the executor so we have executors like SSH Kubernetes uh, Docker Docker Windows shell and we have multiple executors for now we are going to go with a very simple executor that is shell so I will say here shell and press enter and you can see here this runner is registered successfully and you can now start it so once this is done we will start the runner using this command gitlab runner exe start so i'll copy this from here paste it here and say start and this should be now started and now we have to check so start gitlab runner this is the command and then we will have to check if the runner is started so step number four will be check runner is activated or started in the project so the same thing you will go to your GitLab go to your project and go to settings settings and then go to CI CD and here we will go to the runners section and click on expand and if you scroll down you should see your runners under the runners activated for this project this is my runner and you can see the name that we have given my runner one and these are the tags so now this runner is activated and now this can run jobs all this how to run jobs and how to use tags how to use gitlab ci we are going to learn in the coming sessions so this was about gitlab runner i hope this session was very useful for you please do hands on and also share your knowledge with others if you have any questions or any doubts you can write them down in the description or the comments section below and i will try to answer you as soon as i can i hope all of this was very useful thank you so much for watching